Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. The Ethereum chart has today, or actually yesterday, <laughs> yesterday dipped into the orange micro support area. So the, the overall wave count hasn't changed, but obviously Ethereum is very deep in support and we want to talk about the risks now and what it could mean if the micro support area breaks. Yeah? Would it mean that we definitely will test the 2,977 level, will we break it? Or is there another chance to extend the current rally, even if we break below micro support? So first of all, let's talk about the overall um, structure here. The idea is still that we are moving in this ABC structure. So an A wave down, yeah, then a B wave rally and the C wave to the downside. That's the pattern I'm tracking. So the idea is we are still in a B wave and I will continue to follow that perspective until the price breaks below 3,439, which can happen, not expected at this stage, but can happen. Um, if that happens, then the immediate upside potential is not invalidated, but is going to become much less likely, much less reliable. And I mean, already now it's not very reliable structure it's a b wave okay so it's a b wave they change a lot they morph a lot that's just what they do and trading or let's say tracking corrective structures is extremely complex and and difficult i would still like to see though in this b wave that my target area gets reached i would like to see the price get into this region between 3818 and uh, 4214 possibly rather in the lower end of the uh, target area but that's fine you know maybe around 3.8k, 3.9 or 4k, that would all be fine. And if that be, as long as that B wave is, um, or if that B wave goes a little higher and the more it extends, the better for the overall scenario here on the chart, because the higher the B wave goes, so A wave down, B wave up, the more space the C wave has. And the higher the B wave is, the lower the probability is that the crucial, $2,977 level, the 50% Fibonacci retracement of the third wave. Well, the lower the probability then that this level will break. And this level really needs to hold to, let's say, um, focus on further upside towards new all-time highs with a high likelihood and in a very straightforward way because the current pattern is an impulse. It will not be an impulse anymore if we see a sustained break below 2,977. So that level is really, really crucial. Yeah, but now let's take a look at the microstructure. So the idea is, as I said, we are in this B wave. B waves are A, B, C patterns. The C wave is a five wave move. And we completed a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. And this wave four gets quite long, protracted, messy. But as long as we're holding support, one more high is still possible. And that one more high would be a wave five of C of B. That would be ideal. And however, obviously that wave four is very deep now and should really not break any lower. It takes a break above 3,665 to confirm that we are on our way to 3,818 plus. So, but what happens if we break below micro support? And that's new, that's a scenario that's, I mean, possible. It's just something that is not very, let's say, likely or reliable. And in this scenario, we're dealing with a W, X, Y structure, yeah, instead of an A, B, C. Because in this A, B, C structure in wave B, the C wave has five waves, but the fourth wave is getting very, very extended here. And it looks a bit out of shape compared to wave two, but valid. But the WXY structure would also be part of the wave B. It would just be a different way of how the B wave can unfold. Just a different structure, different roadmap. And in this case, we had a wave W and X complete. And we're now in the Y wave, which is an A, B, C structure. So that this could be a B wave pullback. And in that case, if we break below micro support, we might track um, a B wave then instead. And it might go down a little lower before the C wave rally starts. The thing is, you can't really rely on this count and we can only really confirm the white count once we have a one, two setup in place for wave C. Quick explanation. Let's assume we break micro support. It's like for catching the falling knife. But once we see a first one, two setup, 
in this wave C, then we have good confirmation that, um, okay, possibly um, we are in this white count. So a one, two setup, basically a first small impulse to the upside and the price holding a higher low in a retrace. So that's sort of what we are going to look for then in this scenario. But for now, let's see if we can turn around in this box. Currently, it's being respected, especially at the 50% FIB level. I'll keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.